So one of the things I talked about is the the blurring of the line between personal and and a company uh, thing. Um, <coughs> And it's more than just the device, okay? The device yeah. is just a starting point. There was a, a presentation I made two years ago at um, an academic summit, uh, Collaborative Futures. And what they were talking about is work-life balance. Now, the classic work-life balance question is, um, you know, I have so much work, I have to take it at home, and then in my private life, I have to figure out can I do this at home? That was, you know, don't have too much work and find that balance. Now it's actually the other way around. Uh, it's not just that you have this work that you bring home. That's true. Uh, this is a 72-hour work week. This is an HBR article, Harvard Business Review article that I saw the other week. And that's the average in the U.S. That's how many hours people actually work. That's very depressing. Um, but companies are also going to that point where it says, hey, you know all these people outside work. You have a network of relationships. Uh, they could become customers. So when they have something like that, then it says, why don't you bring your personal life to work as well? And it depends where, you know, marketing really likes that. IT and security don't like that, obviously. Huh? Um, so it's not just the work-life balance in one direction. Now it's how do you balance how much of your life becomes part of the company as well? 